solve the integer x such that x to the power of 6 equals 244,140,625. Oh my god! How can I find the value of x where x is an integer? My god! Headache! Don't worry, I have many tricks. This number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 digits. Oh. Ugly. However, easy. My question is, what did you notice? The last digit. Have you noticed? It is 5. What does it mean? 5 is the last digit. Hmm. There is something valuable in it. 5. From this information, what can we get? What can we get? Something about x. Of course. The last digit. It is 5. The last digit is 5. We can get that the last digit of x is 5 as well. Maybe you want to ask me why? There is always a question. Why? There is only one cause, there is only one reason. If an integer with the ending 5, that means its last digit is 5. This integer to power of n where n is a positive integer. And the result, the last digit of the result must be 5. Maybe you haven't understood, it doesn't matter. I'm going to explain to you again. Look, 5 to the power of 1 is 5. 5 to the power of 2 is 25. 5 to the power of 3 is 125. 5 to the power of 4 is 625. And the last digits are always 5. Always, always 5. Oh my god, this 5 is ugly. However, this is beautiful. I wrote it so ugly. We don't have to worry about the last digit of x anymore. Now, x cannot be a 3 digit number. It can only be a 2 digit number. We have also noticed that there are 9 digits here. 9 digits. Note it. Now, analyze. We know that. Let's start with 10 to the power of 6. 10 to the power of 6, it is 1000000. Zero, 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 zero. How many digits? Of course, 7 digits. That means there are only 7 digits. So we can get that 10 to the power of 6, it is of course smaller than x to the power of 6. The next level, 20 to the power of 6. How many digits are there? 20 to the power of 6, it is equal to 2 to the power of 6 and then times 10 to the power of 6. 2 to the power of 6, it is very good, 64, and then times 10 to the power of 6. 64 then times 10 to the power of 6. Oh my god, how many digits are there? Of course, 8. It is of course also smaller than x to the power of 
six. The next level, 30 to the power of six. 30 to the power of six, it is the same method, the same way. Three to the power of six, and then times 10 to the power of six. So it is three to the power of six, it is nine to the power of three. Nine cube, it is 729, and then times 10 to the power of six. 10 to the power of six, there are seven digits. However, then times 729, there are nine digits. So now, 30 to the power of six, there are nine digits. Now, what we're gonna do is to compare 30 to the power of six with x to the power of six. We know that x to the power of six, it is of course smaller than 245 and then times 10 to the power of six. However, 30 to the power of six is equal to 729 then times 10 to the power of six. It is absolutely bigger than x to the power of six. So what does it mean? 20 to the power of 6 is smaller than it. 30 to the power of 6 is greater than it. x to the power of 6 is between 20 to the power of 6 and 30 to the power of 6. So now we can get that the absolute value of x it is greater than 20, smaller than 30. The absolute value of x is also an integer, a positive integer. And its last digit is 5. So it is, of course, 25. The values of x are positive or negative 25 and don't forget to check and we can find out that these two solutions are correct absolutely correct do you get it? and don't forget to give a thumbs up subscribe to me so that you won't miss any videos and we'll see you next time bye bye